Now, not everyone might have a measuring jug at home, or like me, you might just be a bit disorganized and I lost it for several days. So I'm going to show you how you can make your own measuring jug using just a plain jug. So this is just plain. I know that it can hold more than one litre because I've held things in it before more than one litre. When I was measuring that coffee and there was more than one litre, I know this can hold more than one. I also need a container that I know can hold one litre. So I'm going to take out my carton of apple juice that has a capacity of one litre. I know it has a capacity of one litre because it says it on the container. Now, what I've done is I've actually just poured my, there was a, remember there was less than one litre of apple juice in. I've poured that into a different bowl. So this is just filled with water now. So I filled it all the way up to the top. So that means there is one litre of water inside this carton. So I'm going to pour that into the plain jug now. So now I know that this is my one litre line because I know that I've just poured in a volume of one litre of water from the carton. So I'm going to take a little piece of paper and a pen and I'm going to make a one litre label. Oops. One litre. And I'm going to stick that, I'm going to draw a little line part on it. And I'm going to stick that onto the jug. I want to make sure that the little line I drew matches up with the line of the water. So I'll put some cello tape on top of my little label. That's my label, one litre. And I want to be very careful and make sure that, that line that I drew matches up with the line of the water. So I'll look very carefully. Yeah, that's pretty good. So now I've got a jug that will show me if something is more than one litre, exactly one litre, or less than one litre. So we'll try it out. So let's see, I've got a cup that I've put some juice into and I'm going to see if it's more than one litre of juice or less than one litre of juice. So the line of the juice stops here. It doesn't come up to my one litre line, so I can see that I do not have one litre of juice in the jug now. And I can see that I could not fit one litre of juice into this cup. But let's see what happens if I add another cup. So it's full to the top. So when I added in that other cup, look, it still hasn't reached the one litre line on my jug. So the line of juice is still below the one litre line. I still do not have one litre of juice. Let's see what happens if I add in a bit more. It's getting close and we need to be really careful here because the line of the juice is getting close to the label that says one litre. But we need to measure it against this line. It has not reached the one litre line yet. So there still is not one litre. I think I'm gonna to have to get out some water to add in if I want more than one litre. Let's see what happens if I add in another cup. This time it's just water. Okay, now we definitely have more than one litre. It's a little bit hard to see because the line of the juice matches up with this 
rim that's on the jug. But the line of the juice stops here. It has gone above the one litre line. So there is more than one litre of liquid inside this jug. It's a mix of juice and water at this stage, but it is more than one litre of liquid. And that is how you can make your own measuring jug.